In this video, I'm going over how to take a screenshot on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. In the video today, I want to walk you through how to take a screenshot on your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. And stay tuned to the end. I'm also going to show you what to do if your screen freezes or the touch screen is not working properly. A button combination that will help you to soft reset the phone um, to fix that. So let's jump right in. First, to do a screenshot, the easiest way, in my opinion, is holding down on the volume down button and power for one second. So you're gonna hold, let it go. That's gonna trigger a screenshot. So you're gonna hold and let it go. That's gonna trigger a screenshot. You'll then get this quick pop-up menu at the bottom, which as you can see, it goes away really quickly. So let's try it one more time. One more time, one, two, three, hold, let it go. Now tap on this button here. Now this will take you to the screenshot that you just took and it will give you an opportunity to make any edits you'd like to make before you save it. So you might, for example, want to crop the picture down to only focus on a certain section of the screenshot. You can also tap on the pen tool and change the color or the thickness. And then you could, for example, write something or circle, make any um, other modifications to the picture you want to make and then you'll tap this button to download the picture to the phone and basically save it to the gallery or you can tap on this button to share it if you wanted to send it right to uh, via a text message or an email this will give you all the options to share it with an app so that's it now I'm gonna hit the download button to save the picture and then I'm gonna swipe up go to the gallery and in the gallery here you can see the screenshot we just took We'll just tap here, there's our screenshot. If you go to the album section, it will create a folder for you of screenshots. So as you can see, all the screenshots will be saved in this folder. All right, so that's how I take a screenshot. And lastly, I wanna show you how to soft reset your phone if you're having issues with your touch screen, if it's not responding properly and you need to um, restart the phone, here's what you can do. You're gonna hold down on those same two buttons, so volume down and power, but you're not gonna let the buttons go. You're gonna hold it until the screen goes dark, just like this. So power, or excuse me, power, volume down, one, two, three, hold. It's gonna take you to this screen, continue to hold the buttons until the screen goes completely blank. There we go. As soon as it goes blank, let go of the buttons and wait about five seconds and the phone should restart automatically. If it doesn't, no problem. Wait about 10 more seconds, and if it still doesn't restart, you'll simply hold the power button to turn the phone back on. But as you can see, it took about a little over 10 seconds for it to trigger the restart, and essentially what we just did was we sent a command to the phone using the buttons to tell it, hey, restart the phone because something is wrong. Now, once you do the soft reset, this should fix any issues you're having with your screen. However, if it doesn't fix it and you're still having an issue with the screen, then you might have an, a bigger issue that needs to be serviced. So here are some options. One, call, or excuse me, go to samsung.com and go to support. Um, there is a support tab or there's a contact us tab where you can connect to their web support and they can give you the local repair centers that are in your area. Um, that are certified to work on the phone and I would recommend go to a service center that is definitely certified because this is a special screen and you want to make sure whoever is dealing with the phone knows what they're doing. The other option which is you know um, I don't recommend as much but it is an option is to find your local cell phone repair shop and take it in and have them take a look at it and they may have someone that has experience with dealing with um, the foldable phones and if so then have them give you a price on what it'll cost to fix the screen. Hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.